Let's go! Are we out of the woods? Is the head and shoulder now invalidated now that we are actually going to the upside here on the Bitcoin price on the one hourly chart? Or can we still go down all the way down to the target down here at $18,000? Stick around guys, we are talking about Bitcoin. I get some very important information for you. We're also talking about Ethereum and we are going to focus on Ethereum compared to Bitcoin. We are still within this triangle. So this is definitely something you need to pay attention to if you are holding Ethereum right now. And why are we seeing a mini rally right now in Bitcoin? Of course, it is because of the traditional markets currently seeing a rally right now. Just like we've been talking about Bitcoin price, the crypto market is going to follow the traditional market. So I will give you an update on that as well. Also, you know, my trades over on Femex. Welcome back. My name is Cristiano bringing you two cryptocurrency related trading videos every day. So with that said, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe right now if you like trading and you like making money. Now, let's get straight into the chart. So before we talk about this uh, potential head and shoulder, if it is currently invalidated, is it still possible for us to form this? I want to go to Twitter. I want to show you a follow up on the video I posted eight hours ago where I talked about this head and shoulder and uh, that I do not believe us going down to this level. So a lot of people misunderstood me, but I elaborated on Twitter. So let me just read that for you. And I said, let me clarify my stance on this potential head and shoulder forming on Bitcoin. If we break down, I don't think we will reach the target a lot of people are screaming about all the way down at $18,000. A breakdown from the pattern means we need to reach the target within a reasonable time frame. This is only the hourly, so even if the head and shoulder is large and stretched, which it is, the whole pattern is basically forming over the course of 10 days. So what do I mean by this? Well, you might take a look at the head and shoulder here or potential head and shoulder forming, looking at this and being like, man, this is a big pattern. It is, but these are hourly candles, meaning this started to form the 2nd of January, which is not that far ago. I mean, it's not that long ago. So if you assume that we are breaking down here and that we are going to reach the target all the way down here at $18,000, it needs to be within a reasonable time frame, meaning, you know, we cannot break down here and then, you know, go down and up and down and, you know, in a century, we eventually reach this level. No, that's not how it works. You need to reach this target within a reasonable time frame. That is how I am trading. That is just logic also. I mean, can we find some examples? If we go to history, let's go to the previous uh, bear market. So I don't know. I haven't found a, a good example, but let's take a look at this. This looks like a pretty clear double top, right? So you have the top forming. So this is also known as an M pattern. So second high being lower than the first high, I mean. And then you go down, you break the neckline here, and so you go down. So the technical target from this M pattern is something like this, right? So now it's very clear that we didn't reach this target. I mean, we broke down from the neckline right here, but this was only a fake out and then we rallied up and we had consolidation. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and you know, how long is this? This is July of 2019, 13th of July. Now I am sure down in history, we are going to find some place in which the target actually was reached, so to speak. So if we go to the right here, yeah, you can see during the Corona dump, now, if you assume that the same thing is true for the, the, the head and shoulder pattern right now, you would be screaming right here during the Corona dump. Yeah, I told you so. I told you so. Remember that, you know, M pattern I talked about previously. Yeah, we finally reached the target. That is not how it works. You need to reach the target within a you know reasonable time frame. And so then you also have to consider whether it is reasonable for us to crash this high as we have seen uh, the target being right here. Sorry, obviously I mean this low. And that is where I start to question the downwards target. This is why I've been saying, if we break down from this head and shoulder pattern, if it is formed, I believe that we are going to reach some of these targets at the most, right? Because I just don't see us crashing all the way down here within the next a couple of days basically or I was actually pretty kind towards the people and I said within a month because what is a reasonable time frame for the breakdown target I would say no more than one month is it possible we may reach $18,000 in the future absolutely but I find it unlikely to be within the next month 
Thus, that drop will not have anything to do with the current head and shoulder pattern. In my previous uh, video, I talked about many reasons why when looking at the market right now, I find such a crash unlikely, but this is my way of trading. I would be careful with people screaming $18,000 without presenting the arguments against that as well. As I said in my video, the only way for the target of $18,000 to realistically be reached based on this pattern within the next month is a big black swan event. So that's my two cents. In other words, I find it more likely that we are going to reach these targets than all the way down here. And in fact, I think it's very likely that we just consolidate here for a bit, just like I talked about in this video. They are trying to fool you. They are trying to take your Bitcoin by printing you know, this disastrous pattern with a target all the way down here. Just relax guys, if we reach that target, it's not going to be within the next day or two. So you will have all the time in the world to react. Yeah, I just wanted to say that guys, because you know, some people have been contacting me being super afraid of this forming and start selling right now before we even have this pattern being formed. So yeah, I just wanted to give you my opinion. But let's take a look at this. What do we have right now? So let's take away this potential head and, head and shoulder. Right now, we have this triangle being formed. Now, I gave you a couple of different scenarios in my previous video. I talked about, uh, well, this triangle. I talked about us potential, potentially forming a ascending triangle like this. If you take it from the wick, this can still be formed, by the way. We talked about a wedge or a channel, so like that. And the truth is, we still do not know. I mean, to me, this is looking fine. I mean, this looks fine to me, but that means that we just broke out. And so what is the target from this breakout? Well, the target is again, towards the all time high. And so what we want to see is that we actually want to see some more volume here. This is decent. Now we want to see a follow up as the price is going up. But in general, I think that we are going to consolidate for a bit more before, you know, trying our previous all time high again and going up and test it. So count with the consolidation for at least one or two more days before we actually go up and test this. And as you know, we still have the potential of the right shoulder being formed here. But the longer we go here sideways or up, this is going to be invalidated eventually if we actually do that. But for now, this is what the market is telling us. And by the way, if you want to start trading, you got an insane $1,150 bonus on Bybit. If you use this link, you sign up, you deposit some funds, and then you are going to get these bonuses. And I have a story for you tomorrow, a story of someone who deposited $4,000 and now is a millionaire. It was not even that long ago. So I'm going to share that with you tomorrow. But so let's talk about Ethereum. So I talked about this triangle being formed here and you can see that we are actually respecting this line very well and we do not want to break through it. I think that this is also on the four hour, absolutely. We do not want to break through this guys. That is going to be bad news for Ethereum compared to Bitcoin, meaning Bitcoin is most likely going to outperform Bitcoin here in uh, the near future until we form another pattern. But that is, again, if we break through this, which we haven't yet done so. And in fact, I see it as more likely that we are going to go up here towards this level, be rejected perhaps, and then try to break it, meaning Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin. So that is what you need to pay attention to right now when it comes to Ethereum. If you look at it towards USD, you can see that we are having this resistance right here. And I mean, this didn't really act as too much uh, support on the way down, but now you can see very clearly that, yeah, it's been respected here, it's been respected here, had a fake out here. But now to the good stuff, traditional markets. We are about to have another all time high here, or are we? Let me check that actually. So we are about, what is that, 3,813. We are about just a couple of do dollars from the all time high here on the S&P 500, which is very good. I mean, this is good news for Bitcoin. This is probably going to mean, I mean, if we continue going up here, if I can already say that. Here's what I can say. If we continue going sideways or up here in the S&P 500, I would say that the uh, head and shoulder, I would see that as extremely unlikely for that scenario to play out. In that case, I would even not think that we are going to go, you know, go down towards these levels if the S&P 500 continues to be strong, you know, traditional markets. So yes, I am expecting Bitcoin to perform well then as well. And just like I said, this level with the red lines this in itself is very strong support. And I got this 
Um, this was posted on one of my tweets actually. eToro is letting them know, the customers, that there is not enough crypto for everyone. Is there something more bullish than trading platform limiting how much coins you can buy? So this is apparently the message that they are sending out to the customers, basically saying that we are having trouble getting hold of Bitcoin right now. So yeah, we might limit how much you can buy. And yeah, I, I, I kind of like posted this. So not only is there not enough Bitcoin for institutions, now it's not even enough for retail. So yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. And that, if anything, is going to give you a clue as to what kind of market conditions we are at right now. So I really hope that you didn't get frightened by, you know, this big head and shoulder being marketed around all around in the crypto space and selling your Bitcoin because they were trying to fool you. Entry price of $36,000 on this long term position. Absolutely beautiful. Minus $400 on this position so far. Absolutely fine. I mean, what is that? Honestly, we're building this for the long run. Remember, I've been buying every single dipper as we've been going down. So this should be a good indication for you to never panic. Don't panic. Just stay calm. Things are going to work themselves out as long as you have a strategy. I always have a strategy before you enter a trade and what you're going to do if the price starts to go down. So you do not panic. You don't sell at the bottom. And yeah, you can just stay calm, guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you did and uh, watch the trading tutorial popping up in the middle of this video right now.